How was the rest of your summer after the belt began? Did you get some rest? Short. Yeah. <laughs> another another short. Like a lot of short summers for you. Yeah, another short one. So it's it's always positive to have short summers, right? You know, it's like I said, thankful to win a championship and go a long way. Um, you know, it sucks to have another short summer, but I had a great great two months at home. Gained uh, gained ten pounds, really ten pounds of muscle. So um, you know, the numbers came in today, and everyone was was pretty happy with the results. So. I can't really, uh, I can't really complain that it was a short summer. I think it was maybe it was a month longer, maybe it's an extra five pounds or so. But you know, putting on ten pounds after a long season like that, you know, almost playing two years of hockey straight, I think it's a real positive sign. So what's that put you yeah, at weight-wise? Uh, I came in today at uh, I think it was 186, 187, so in and around there. I think that's a good weight for me. Just, you know, I think it's a good weight for you know, strength-wise and the way I play. And I don't want to be uh, too heavy because then I slow down out there and I'm fast player likes to throw my weight around a little bit so you kind of got to keep that consistent balance of weight and uh, and how fast you're out there as well. You had mentioned when we saw your development camp that you might want to spend a little time here this summer. Did you get a chance to do that or was it too short? It was that? just it was just too short this summer. Yeah. I think that um, there was a uh, one of the strength guys came down to Toronto for uh, for uh, I think it was twice he came down and, and uh, worked out with me down there with my training and it was it was great. I mean that's I just that's why I love it here. You know they, they take care of all their players uh, you know, whether if you're a high-end prospect or you know ranked lower as a prospect, they they care about everyone here, and that's what I love. It's just the love for each and every player here. It's just not one. It's not one favoring another. So I know they went around and worked out with a lot of different guys as well. So it, I, it was great. I had a good summer with them. A lot of really positive feedback, and um, like I said, I'm feeling really good coming into rookie camp here and in the main camp. Does this feel different for you than last year? I mean, just because there is no more junior, and you're not coming last year, you're coming up. Yeah, it's you get to be a pro hockey player now, regardless of where I'm playing. Right? It's what I've always wanted is to have that status of being a professional hockey player. So um, I'm gonna miss junior. I'm gonna miss my you know team in Peterborough. I uh, miss the, the the guys there and the staff and everyone. I went back there just to get on the ice, just to skate and see everyone there because you know the relationships I built there are unbelievable and you know their friendships and relationships that are gonna last forever and. Um, but now it's now it's being a pro hockey player, and that's what I'm most excited for. It's the, like I said, that status of having that status beside your name, and being that professional hockey player, where, whether it's in the NHL or the American League. What, what do you have to do? I mean, like, sorry. Go ahead. You go. What, 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 what do you have to do to make that jump? Like, I'm sure you've talked to other guys. But, well, you know, the game is faster, or whatever it is. What have they told you? What do you have to do? Yeah, just same thing. I skate with a lot of NHL guys during the summertime, which I'm very thankful for, and. It's just, you know, it's the same thing like I've been saying for the last few years. It's just confidence in yourself to be able to play with guys and make that team. So I skated, you know, with uh, four or five NHL guys once or twice a week last year and just picking their brain a little bit and just asking them, you know, what's it like, you know, playing alongside guys and, you know, with guys trying to fight for a spot on the team. Like, how do you handle that? And, you know, they, like I said, they can't control whether a younger guy makes the team over them or not, right? They're just going to go in there and they're doing the same thing like I am. They're going to try to, you know, make sure that they have that roster spot on opening night day and um, to answer I guess more of your question it's just it's up to me I guess right and it's just the way that I want to play it's the way that the Rangers want me to play and I mean I mean I, I think I'm ready so it's like I said it's not up to me it's how I perform it's how I do and if I don't do well then you know it's gonna, gonna be a little bit of time in the American League and if I do well maybe it's still more time in the American League you still got a very good Ranger team here up and down the lineup I mean look at their top 12 or 13 forwards that they have right now and the guys that they signed, I mean, still very good players, right? So, uh, like I said, I'm excited for the development part of things. If I'm playing this year, I'm going to love it. If I'm in the American League, it's the same thing. It's just trying to make the NHL as fast as possible, right? Um, and it doesn't have anything to do with, with a bad year or anything last year, right? I mean, that year was for development and that year was for learning 200-foot game and, you know, I, I was able to showcase my offensive abilities a couple seasons ago and last year was more the defensive side, the learning that 200-foot game and becoming a pro player. What's your excitement level going into the season? Like, I can see you when you talk about it. Yeah. I can see it creep up. How's it feel? I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, I, I say it all the time. I love coming here and all the guys here. It's, it's a great... Someone wants to come in there. Uh, it's, a, it's a great group of guys here for development camp, rookie camp, you know, main camp. It's just... It's such a good atmosphere that, that the Rangers put us in with players and... I mean, we're out here in rookie camp and we're just having a really good time. We're laughing, we're joking. And that's what it's really all about is just having fun and 
and you know at the end of the day there's guys that want to make the team there's guys that want you know NHL contracts or American League contracts and they were on tryouts but it's at the end of the day hockey's still a fun sport and we're all just out here trying to enjoy our time and and we love we all love being here so uh, that's what I'm just most excited for is just being here with all the guys and getting to see everyone again and you know hopefully try to make the team. You, I'm sure we've we've asked you this before I'm sure you've answered it um, yeah, I've, I can play. I can play both. I can play the right side too. You know, I think I played a little bit last year in Peterborough, uh, left and right. Um, I know it says I'm a left winger on, uh, like wherever you go, it says left winger, right? But I think that I can play the right wing as well. It's, it's kind of the same thing. You know, picking up the puck on the the wall is a little bit harder. But uh, yeah, I mean, you're really, really only playing your your own position on draws, right? Because at the end of the day, if you're F1 back, you have to play down low and everyone's all over the place, right? So at the end of the day, you're really only playing left wing, right wing, center out of face-off, right? Or face-off plays and, and whatnot. So um, to answer your question, like I said more, I think I can play right wing as well. You think that versatility is important? Because like you look at left wing here, you see Panarin, you see Crowd, you see some pretty big names. But Three really strong forwards there, right? So I mean, it's it's going to be hard to beat out anyone in the lineup, really. I mean, they're classified themselves of NHL players, right? So I think if I can play the right side, I think that's obviously very versatile. But um, like I said, I I feel like I can play both. I've played left uh, for four years now, but I've also lost or played right wing a little bit too. So it's just keeping that versatility open and you know playing both sides of the ice. It's got some perks and it's got some negatives, but um, at the end of the day, it's it's all the same. It's just hockey, so.